clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel sales funnel is a sales process that you take your prospects through your customers always start as individuals who are unaware that you even exist and the very start of your funnel is you introducing them to your brand the end of the funnel is your most wholesome offering all of the emails within your drip campaign should lead people further down your funnel but what are the different levels of a sales process and how do you incorporate this into your email drip campaigns as you can see in this example here is a simple demonstration of what a sales funnel looks like the very first stage up here is the awareness stage this is you letting people know and introducing your company your brand to them once they are aware that you exist the next stage in this funnel is them becoming a lead this is them departing with their data and giving you access to them so they may not have actually made a purchase from your company yet but they know you exist and you can communicate to them on this level as they go deeper with you they become a customer so they purchase one of your main core products and then deeper than that they become an advocate for your business and your brand these are your most valued customers these are people who are not just consuming your products or services but they're telling people about what you do as well and helping you to grow your company so let's talk a little bit about the sales process top of the final marketing is a term used to describe people who are seeing you for the first time this in internet marketing terms is also known as traffic traffic is visitors back to your website and top of the final marketing consists of things such as YouTube marketing sale and pay-per-click marketing when you are driving traffic back to your website you are performing top of the final marketing let's say for example you are running ads on Facebook this is a top of the final marketing activity and the aim of your ads should be to create awareness about your business and drive people back to your site once they come to your site you then want them to become a lead and enter into your sales process the way you get someone to become a lead and enter into your sales process is by offering either a lead magnet or an entry-level product a lead magnet is usually something that you give away for free but this free giveaway should be something that's really beneficial to the person who's going to consume it you may also use an entry-level product new entry-level product is normally something that is fairly cheaper than your normal prices of your products this is a gateway product and it helps people to come in through the doors and experience you for the first time you then want to use your drip campaign email marketing to convert your prospects into actual customers product quality is super important with regards to your drip campaigns if people are purchasing your entry-level products or your main products or even your lead magnet and it's not quality then the chances of them going further down your funnel is really slim the best form of marketing you can do is to produce quality products that people want more of and would be proud to share with their friends if you haven't yet put a lot of thought into your sales process then go away and think about that what can you offer as a lead magnet or entry-level product and how can you facilitate the movement of people from being just a lead into your main products landing pages act as a bridge between one stage in your sales final and the next your landing pages should assist your prospects in taking the next step in your sales process whether that be leaving their data with you, making a purchase, or simply providing them with additional resources and information. Let's take a look at some of the additional landing pages that you will be using to help you to build your database and lead your prospects along your sales funnel. So some of the types of landing pages include an opt-in page, a sales page, a thank you page, and a content page.
An opt-in page is top of the funnel marketing, and that is when you're sending traffic to a page that looks similar to this one. The aim of an opt-in page is to get the data of your prospective customers. This data could be their name or their email address, but you want to squeeze that information out of them. As you can see, there's a little bit of text, and then you can download the free report. Your sales page is when you're trying to create the sale. So you want to send them to a page that advertises your product and that also gives your prospect the opportunity to purchase. You normally want to send warm leads, people who are already a part of your database, to this type of sales page. You can also make use of a thank you page, and I'm going to show you how you can make use of this. This is an example of an opt-in page on website. I'm giving something away for free, and when someone clicks the button, they can enter their name and their email address. When they click download, they're taken to thank you page. Now, as you can see, my thank you page thanks them for downloading the free report, but it also upsells them to something additional. You can do this on your thank you pages. Whether someone is purchasing a product from your sales page or someone is just opting into your opt-in page, your thank you page can actually be an upsell, as well as you thanking them for downloading your product and giving them information on how they can access what they've just purchased or downloaded. You can also trigger your email campaign after someone has purchased or downloaded your free report or triggered your opt-in page by sending them an initial email. And as you can see, as soon as someone opts into my opt-in page, this is the very first email that they get, which confirms their opt-in and also promotes the upsell that they initially saw on the upsell page. If you don't already have those pages on your website, then I suggest you go and create them. The last type of page is called a content page. Your content page is something that provides additional value. This could be your blog. For example, here, I could send my leads to my blog page where I speak about topics that I know they will be interested in. You don't only want to send your customers to a landing page that tries to sell them something. But every now and again, you want to send them useful content to keep them engaged on your email drip campaign. If you don't have content pages added to your drip campaign, then I suggest you add them. Including great content within your email drip campaigns helps to establish trust between your company and your database. Content can also be used to help draw your prospective customers closer to a buying decision. But how do you deliver content via your email drip campaigns in a way that both establishes trust and helps to sell your products and services moving your prospects further down your sales funnel? When creating content for your emails, your content should educate, entertain, and or inspire, establish trust and also bring your prospects closer to a buying decision. But how do you do all of these things at the same time? I had a problem with my database. I wanted to educate my prospects but sell at the same time so I started to use what I like to call Edgesol pages. An Edgesol page is a cross between a sales page and a piece of content. It aims to educate your prospective customers whilst soft selling at the same time. I want to give you an example of how I do this on YouTube. This is a video on YouTube that, that speaks about Square's base sale. This video is informative and it is there to educate. I am actually encouraging the viewers to take action and download my free guide. This is a piece of Edgesol content. I'm also going to give you an example of how I've used this within my database. Here is an example of a drip campaign. This drip campaign is selling a dumbbell set. If you take a closer look into email number 3, I am giving my top 5 dumbbell exercises to flatten your tummy. As you click on that, I am leading people towards clicking this link.
which then leads them to an edge of soul page. This is the edge of soul page which speaks about the five dumbbell exercises to get rid of a belly, and also, it has a video. This video does not have to live on YouTube, but it can actually live on Vimeo, where you can privatize it. This means that you're sending specific people to this specific page who are already on your database. This video also aims to educate by giving the content that is promised in the title but also selling throughout the video whilst I use the dumbbell set that it is I'm trying to sell. You can do a similar thing to this and you don't have to use video. You can also send people to an article that edges your products or services. And if you do not have edge of soul content included within your email drip campaigns, I encourage you to add it. Not everybody who comes to your website is going to leave their information with you the very first time they visit your site. Likewise, not everyone who is on your database is going to engage with your emails. Retargeting is a great way for you to remarket to those who have not given you their data or who have not made the decision to take this next step in your sales funnel. Retargeting focuses on your target customers based on the specific product offering. So what exactly is pixel retargeting? Well, it is top of the funnel retargeting. It's cookies placed on the browser of your website visitors, and it's a way to bring visitors back to your website. So when someone comes across your website or a specific page on your site, you can place a cookie in their web browser and you can use these cookies that you gather to remarket to those particular people. So what is email retargeting? It involves uploading your lists to advertising platforms, creating local IC audiences, and personalizing your advertising based on the stage of the final, so this is really important. You can actually create purposeful advertisements to simply only the people who have downloaded your free formula and not yet made a purchase with you. Likewise, you can do this to each and every different stage of your funnel. So I want to give a demonstration of how you can do this in Facebook. So if come up here to this downward arrow, you will see down here where you can create your ads. You want to click on that and it should take you to a page like this. It's important to note that this may change depending on when you're watching this movie, so how you actually find the Create Ads tab might be slightly different. You need to choose your traffic option and I'm going to choose traffic for an example purpose. You then want to scroll down and click continue and you want to set up your Facebook campaign but I want to focus on audience. If I click create new, you will see I can create a custom audience where I can reach people who've already interacted with my business. I can also create a local IC audience where I can reach new people on Facebook who are similar to your most valuable audiences. I'm going to click custom audience. So here I can upload a custom file. Now these are the names, email addresses, and numbers if you have them of your current database. For example, I can actually upload just this list to Facebook. These are people who have downloaded my free weight loss guide and I want them to actually purchase the dumbbell set. So I can upload only that list to my Facebook custom audience and advertise to those people. Similarly, I can export any of these lists and advertise to these individuals to help them along my funnel. Not only through sending them drip emails, but also through segmenting them and sending them specific advertisements. I can also do here website traffic retargeting and Facebook allows me to create a custom Facebook pixel where I can retarget people who have visited my website or specific pages on my site. If you are not currently doing remarketing, then I encourage you to try it. It's a great way to bring warm visitors who already know about you back to your site. And also, to encourage people who look similar to those who have visited your website in the past, or who are currently on your database to come to your site and take a specific action.